So it's been three weeks or so since I've updated you about the whole pink sauce lady drama from the GoFundMe she made and all the lies she told all of us. Last we talked about was the whole drama between her and Dave Gourmet. She stated that they never paid her but then the company came out to Insider and said yo we actually paid her 120 grand. So this is old me breaking it down for y'all. He disagreed with Miss Shaw's allegation. A company spokesperson said Dave Gourmet has paid Chef P over a hundred and twenty thousand dollars to date and it continues to make all payments as due and on time based upon the terms of contract insider review screenshots of bank statements bro they literally show business insider screenshots of these bank statements <laughs> by dave's gourmet reflecting payments it says it's made to shaw as well as a company called flavor crazy inc which is registered to her name. There were 12 total transactions in the screenshots, totaling to $120,000. Payments began in August 9, 2022, according to the documents provided by Dave. And the latest transaction occurred on August 17 of this year. Oh, she's a dumbass scammer, bro. Sorry to say this. Pink sauce lady, Chef P, whatever your name is. You're dumb, bro. You're dumb. Well, now it seems like we have an update because she came out with a YouTube video titled, Update, Where Have I Been? Been. And I love that the thumbnail is a literally an eviction notice. But according to her, she only made this video because a lot of people were concerned of where she's been, me being one of them. Like, to be honest, I couldn't sleep at night thinking, yo, where is she? Is she okay? Does she still own the company? <laughs> I hope y'all get my sarcasm sometimes. I really do. <laughs> Here she tells us of what's been going on with her and the company. What is up, y'all? It's your girl, Chef P, and I am back with another video. Okay, so I know y'all wondering, like, where the hell is she? What does she have going on? Is she homeless? What's going on with my contract? I know I've been quiet for a minute, but I've literally been taking a sabbatical just to get my mind together. Um, Let's talk about what is actually going on and, you know, all of this chaos that's going on with Dave's Gourmet. So, first of all, I want to acknowledge this $120,000 that they've responded to the blog saying that they paid me. So, number one, it wasn't an upfront payment of $120,000 straightforward. It was, it was sent to me partially i don't know if it blocked out right there because the low battery thing came but it they were partial payments and then also a huge chunk of that money went towards me paying for airbnb and paying for hotels because mind y'all i was homeless for six months let me pause it right there what does the 120 grand have to do with you getting airbnbs bro how much, how expensive are these airbnbs costing you and also why not just get an apartment bro like literally people live off of like 30k a year and you got 120k bro like it's still mind-blowing you got airbnbs what following this in which i kept having a security issue because i was promised that i would receive legal help for people spreading false narratives about the pink sauce however that never happened. Another thing she stated was that her getting her body done doesn't make her broke. Which is pretty confusing considering she literally made a GoFundMe and doesn't have money at all for legal fees. And also she was living off of $20 a day from her mom. So that, that's really confusing right now. Now also um, people speculating about me getting my body done. Me getting my body done would not make me broke. And this ass came from Eunice. This is my ass. And who makes a financial decision that would make them broke? So my body has nothing to do with it. So let's leave that completely out of the category of what we're talking about. However, they know the proof and the truth in what I have on this phone. But she's still sticking to her story. She's saying Dave Gourmet is defrauding her and she's going to have to sue them. Now that I'm uncomfortable and they know that I would have been hiring legal help, they make this bogus excuse as to why they're putting expenses on top of my royalty. It does not work like that. So it's like, long story short, 
these people defrauded me. So I would have to sue them for fraud because it's not only the calculation of the royalty, but it's everything else that deteriorate, that is deteriorating my business and my brand. Because when we had negotiation, this is an innovative brand. This is an innovative product, which comes with risk, which means that money has to be allocated and and put into marketing. The marketing is the company. They did not do that, which caused me to suffer drastically. And yes, I am in this for the long haul. That's why I'm here still fighting for my brand because I'm not looking at the $1 million that was made. I'm looking at the millions and millions of dollars that wasn't made because they're not freaking listening to me. If I'm being brutally honest, in my opinion, I feel like the pink sauce is done for. Literally, all the hype is done. She's not going to do sales anymore, or, or at least good sales. All the bad reviews literally exposed her sauce. And honestly, it's not the same anymore. It's not 2022 or 2021 whenever that took place. So I strongly recommend her just to shut it down and maybe start a new business. Because all this is not worth the legal trouble, honestly. Here's the funniest part of the video. She compared herself to to Beyonce. Yes, Beyonce. So now I have to work to rebuild my brand and I am okay with that. And then also in regards to work, I'm comparing, call me delusional, but yes, I'm comparing myself to Beyonce. If Beyonce went dead ass broke, would you tell her to get a job? No, you would tell her to get another gig and that's what I'm doing. I'm working my ass off every single day to rebuild the vision and the brand for my business, for my business. And then there's another thing. I own 100% of the Pink Sauce LLC. I did not sell my bread. I did not give away my bread. Listen, I mean, if Beyonce was struggling, yes, I tell her to get another job. I tell anyone struggling, yo, get another job. Why are you struggling when you could easily go out and get a job? You know what I mean? She ends up telling us that she still owns 100% of the LLC and she did not end up selling it. So I don't know if it's just me or you guys too, but are you guys excited? for this pink sauce content because yo she says she's gonna hop on talk to us so moving forward i am i'm gonna be on here i'm gonna be talking to y'all and it might be a little bit awkward starting off at first but you know we gotta do this and y'all gotta see it y'all gotta learn me and all of that stuff and i just feel like i'm free from prison <laughs> but in all seriousness guys that's the update i have for you guys i know you guys were dying for a pink sauce update i know she was dying to give us an update like i said she should just drop the whole pink sauce it's done for that's just my opinion i do want to get your opinions down below what do you guys think about the situation what should she do keep going or just drop it let me know down below guys but as always if you're new here please consider hitting that like button subscribing and turning on those bells that way you guys get notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.